Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor for me to be here today as a part of this prestigious event. I will be talking about artificial intelligence, the next revolution in medicine. Are we ready? So the era of artificial intelligence, machines that combine all human senses have been depicted, de depicted extensively in cinemas from Terminator to The Matrix. Now what comes to our mind? Is it really dangerous? Is it an assess which we can use to our advantage? Will AI make human doctors redundant? And will humanity always win in the end? So what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence refers to the display of human intelligence by machines. And this term was first coined by John McCarthy in 1956. It is the ability of a machine to think and learn like a human being. And it can play an active role in healthcare, agriculture, e-commerce, and robotics. There are three overlapping concepts in artificial intelligence. That is artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is something that is supervised or semi-supervised by a programmer. They are, uh, deep learning is a type of machine learning which acts at a deeper level, inspired by the structure and function of the brain. Deep learning allows a computer program to analyze the problem and come up with a solution on its own, something similar to what a human or animal brain does every second. It is composed of neural networks with the basic unit of the function being called a neuron, and newly created deep learning systems gradually learn and learn and learn. Example is online language translation services that work better with big data. So these were the three components of uh, artificial, uh, artificial intelligence, that is artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. Artificial intelligence came first and occupies the outmost circle. Machine learning occupies the second, and inner circle with DL occupying the innermost circle. Artificial intelligence is a broader term. Machine learning is an approach to achieve artificial intelligence, and deep learning is a technique for implementing machine learning. So these are some of the applications apart from healthcare, like self-driving cars of artificial intelligence, chat GPT, artificial intelligence, facial recognition, crop monitoring. So application of artificial intelligence in healthcare, disease identification, disease diagnosis, personalized treatment, behavioral modification, drug discovery, drug manufacturing, robotic surgeries, clinical trial research, doing repetitive jobs, and treatment design. So medical chat box can offer relevant, high-quality information, reassurance, answers, and way of thinking about the situation related to human behavior. Artificial intelligence for diabetic ret uh, retinopathy screening in Africa, research showing artificial intelligence may help in remote areas, and it has uh, captured Marculus Award. It can analyze a chest x-ray within 20 seconds and can run off a portable phone charger. Developing a dengue model using machine learning, a case study which was done in China, and present uses in Nepal, besides acting the economy and employment, artificial intelligence is optimizing the delivery mechanism of public goods and services, and as has been depicted in this image. So what are the methods which we can employ in healthcare for artificial intelligence? These are telemedicine, online doctor appointments, cloud storage of medical records, health apps, Google and Ethicon are close to perfecting robotic surgeries, 3D printing has personalized artificial implants, variables are calculating everything from the number of steps you have walked to your pulse rate. So what next? In China, a smart healthcare strategy as integral part of artificial intelligence is already functioning in their strategic plan. AI diagnostic tools are permitted by the country's FDA. 
Chinese Intelligent Medicine Association provides an excellent platform for research, exchange, and cooperation in AI for healthcare. Biomed bet a team of neurophysicians in a tele televisionized competition to diagnose brain tumors and predict the expansion of brain hematomas. iFlytech passed the country's ex licensate exam and outperformed 96% of human examinees. In the USA and Canada, Canada has opened the world's first French language school of AI in medicine in Montreal and aims to become a world leader in AI-based healthcare. Apps like Quality Skin can diagnose up to 2,000 different skin disorders merely by analyzing high-resolution images of the affected skin. Doctors analyze and diagnose based on the knowledge accumulated by them over the years. AI utilizes deep learning to analyze and process medical records, clinical findings, treatment protocols, research materials, clinical studies, journal articles, and patient information of multiple patients within a few minutes, something a human mind can never accomplish. What are the benefits? So artificial intelligence devices know which protocol will lead to what outcome in which patient. Better diagnosis and better treatment outcomes. Improved patient satisfaction and reduce incidence of doctor-patient conflicts. Potential to diagnose rare diseases, speed up the process of diagnosis and treatment, reducing the burden on our doctors and thereby increasing their efficacy and productivity, Reduces burden means lesser fatigue, and this translates into enhanced productivity of the healthcare staff and fewer human errors. Healthcare in India, what is the present scenario? India faces an acute shortage of trained healthcare staff and health services. There is high cost of treatment, long queues and long waiting lines for basic treatment at government hospitals. Doctors need to not only diagnose and treat thousands of patients, but also write hundreds of case sheets, discharge summaries, reports, and sift through thousands of x-rays and lab reports daily. Highly overburdened and have to frequently face the wrath of distorted patients or their relatives. So AI seems to be the magic wand that can help us in moving away from the traditional one-size-fits-all healthcare system to an era of precision medicine and safer targeted and personalized treatments. A revolutionary approach for disease prevention and treatment that takes into account individual differences in lifestyle, environment, and biology. So recent developments, AI is now developing into human genomics and finding the perfect treatment suited for every individual based on his or her genetic makeup. It analyzes molecules and predicts how they will act in the human body, including their potential efficacy, toxicity, side effects, at an earlier stage than in the traditional Intel Xenon drug discovery process. So these are the various list of companies already using IA in healthcare. But what are the challenges and what is the way forward? So again, let's decide. Is it really as dangerous? Is it an asset we can use to our advantage? Will AI make human doctors redundant? Will humanity always win in the end? Thank you, thank you so much. Any questions from the audience? Thank you, everyone.